students about the Parliament can be engaging, exciting and easy. The best way to teach your class about Parliament is to turn your class into a Parliament. With the help of this video, your students will run their own debates, make their own speeches and vote on issues just like real Members of Parliament. Members of Parliament are elected by the Australian people to make decisions about how Australia is governed. They debate issues and then vote on them. Through role play, your students will run their own debates in their own parliament. This role play presents a simplified version of the real parliament, capturing its main ideas without all the complex procedural detail. All of the scripts, resources and information that you will need for the role play are on the PEO website. One of the main ways that Parliament makes decisions for Australia is by passing laws. A proposed law is called a bill. To become a law, a bill must be agreed to by both the House of Representatives and the Senate. It is then signed by the Governor-General. Most bills debated in the Senate have already been agreed to in the House of Representatives. If you want more information about how laws are made, watch the PEO's lawmaking video. To get your class started, try a few of the preparation activities on the PEO website. This will give your students some idea how senators are elected and what work they do. You will need a bill to debate. The PEO website has suggestions to help you decide on a bill. You may want to continue with a bill that your class has already debated in the House of Representatives role play. For our debate, the students will be using the No Homework Bill from the PEO website. Preparing some costumes and props will help your students get into role. Transform the classroom into the Senate. Move the chairs into a horseshoe shape with a table at one end. You can now sort the class into government and opposition teams and independents and minor parties. Make sure that the ratio of members in your chamber compares to the real Senate. Refer to Parliament Now on the PEO website for the current numbers in the Senate. You'll need a student who is good at reading, speaking and keeping order to be the President. You'll also need two students to be the clerk and the usher of the black rod. If you'd like to come out. Fantastic. And a black rod. And a few instructions. I'll get you just a head across and have a seat over there. Each team will need students to be a party leader and a team whip. Now, government members, you're going to need a backbencher who's going to be a senator that'll tell us why this is a great idea. I might ask you to be Senator Finch, please. Uh, opposition. Backbencher, someone to be Senator Bruno, I might give you that job. Independence, you also have a crucial role, so Senator Cooper, how about you take that one? And Your then Senate is ready to begin. Discipline and manage the and if you're not here, then the usher I'm of the Black, Black Rod, Rod and the President stand outside the Senate. Our President. The Senate begins when the Usher of the Black Rod leads the President into the Chamber. Honourable Senators, the President. Honourable Senators, please stand. Honourable Senators, the President. Senators, please sit down. The Senate is now in session. The rules of the Senate must be obeyed. Clerk, please read out the rules. Always stand to speak. Begin your speech with the words Madam President or Mr President. Senators should not interrupt each other. The President keeps order. The clerk reads the title of the bill for the first time. The bill can now be debated. Clerk, read the title of the bill. First reading, the No Homework Bill, a bill for an act to ban homework in all Australian schools. 
I call the leader of the government to, in the Senate to introduce the bill. Mr President, I am pleased to introduce this bill to the Senate. Schoolwork should be done with the supervision of a teacher. At home, students might not have anybody to help them or they might cheat on their homework. Homework simply does not help students to learn. I call the Leader of the Opposition in the Senate. Mr President, I vote against this bill. Some teachers give interesting activities for homework, which kids enjoy, instead of just maths and spelling. If this bill passes, teachers who set fun activities for after school will be breaking the law. I call Senator Finch. Mr President, I'm going to vote for this bill. Children should be more involved in their community. Instead of being stuck at home doing homework, they will have time to be involved in local sports, music, arts and other things. Hear me. I call Senator Bruno. Mr President, I am not going to support this bill. Students need to be able to reinforce what they learn in class. By banning homework, this government will be stopping students from reaching their full potential. I call Senator Cooper. Mr President, I think that most homework is a waste of time, but I do think that students should have to read at home. Later I will suggest a change to the bill to ban all homework except for reading. The session ends when all the senators have made their speeches, or if you run out of time. The president adjourns the chamber. Order. The Senate is now adjourned. Honourable senators, please stand. In the real Senate, the debate takes a long time and can be spread over weeks or months. This gives senators time to research and talk about bills with each other and the community. By adjourning the debate, you can give your students more time to research and prepare. Parties can work together to share ideas and independents and minor party senators can think more about the bill. However, if all students have already prepared their speeches, you won't need to adjourn the debate. The students resume their debate in the Senate in the same way they started. Honourable Senators, please stand. Honourable Senators, the President. Senators, Please sit down. The Senate is now in session. Are there any other comments on this bill? Stand if you wish to speak. I call Senator Lilly. Mr President, I agree with the bill because children should have a say on what they do in their free time because if they're stuck inside doing homework then they will not be able to be creative and do what they like with their free time. <coughs> Stand if you wish to speak. I call Senator Joe. Mr President, if the kids don't have homework, they will be behind. And if they are behind, they need extra lessons. So if they need to practice for a musical competition, they, they'll be behind and they might forget the notes. Or if they're practicing for a math test, they might forget what- Mr President, uh, I'm for this bill. I think that when students, school students come home from school, all they want to do is do physical activity, socialize with others, and hang out. It can sometimes make children depressed. They will fall behind when all the students have made their speeches, it will be time to have a vote on the bill to see if the bill will be agreed to. Not many kids work their best when they're working at home. When the Senate decides if the bill should pass, it begins with a vote called the vote on the voices. Those that opinion say aye, to the contrary no, I think the ayes have it. If all senators agree with the bill, it is passed with the vote on the voices. Bills are often passed this way. Order. A vote on the bill will now be taken. The question is that the bill will be read a second time. Those who agree say aye. Aye. Those who disagree say no. No. However, 
Your senators will not all agree on the bill because the opposition was against it. The president decides if they think more senators have said aye or no. I think the ayes have it. The whip from the team who lost the vote on the voices calls for a division vote. Divisions happen when the government and opposition disagree. In a division, the votes of all members are counted and the results are recorded. Order. Is a division required? Mr President, a division is required. Division required. Ring the bells. The bells ring for four minutes to allow any senators who are not in the chamber time to return and vote on the bill. Senators might not be in the chamber because they are doing other work throughout Parliament House. Lock the doors, lock the doors. The eyes will pass to the right of the chair, the nose to the left of the chair. The government and opposition members usually vote with their party. The independents and minor party members will choose to support or oppose the bill. Division is required. Clerk, ring the bells for four minutes. Your class will not need four minutes. The clerk can ring the bells as a way of announcing that the division is about to take place. Order. Those who support the bill move to the right of the president's chair. Those who oppose the bill move to the left of the president's chair. Whips, count the vote. Division. The number of votes for the bill is 15. The number of votes against is 13. The bill is agreed to. Clerk, read the title of the bill for the second time. Second reading, the No Homework Bill. A bill for an act to ban homework in all Australian schools. As the majority of votes were for the bill, it is agreed to and the clerk will read the bill a second time. However, if the majority of votes were against the bill, it would have failed and could not become a law. Order. The Senate is now adjourned. Honourable Senators, please stand. If the bill was passed, the senators could still consider making small changes to the bill, called amendments. The PEO website has instructions on how your class can consider amendments, as well as other follow-up activities. If a bill has passed both the House of Representatives and the Senate, it must be sent to the Governor-General to receive royal assent. It then becomes a new Australian law. Don't stop at one debate. Repeating the role play will give students the chance to play a range of roles and debate more issues. It won't be long before they are running the debate all by themselves. Mm -hmm.